Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, this is the product I'm going to be open. This just came out. Uh, these retail for $199, I believe, at the shop. Mike Stadium Sports Cards in Aurora, Colorado. As usual, I sell my cards at Sullivan Cards Collectibles on eBay. All one word, Sullivan Cards Collectibles. Um, I have recently started reposting things. If you've watched this channel, you might have heard me saying eBay got all stupid and decided to like recategorize things and everything. And even now it's still messed up. You have to, even though you mark your card as no, it's not, you have to mark every card used for some reason. You have to mark them. No, it's not graded. But then even when you mark it, no, it's not graded. It still wants to know the grading company, the grade and the certification number of the card that's not graded. So, of course, I'm just like, it's a 10. The grading company is NA, as in not applicable. And uh, the certification number is 0000. Uh, stupid. It's a total pain in the ass. And it also doesn't do that from your phone when you load it, but it does it on the laptop. So every time you log in, it says specifications missing, specifications missing. Hopefully they fix it. I, I waited two weeks for them to basically get it correct. And uh, it just didn't happen. So um, I said, screw it. I got to post because I have no money coming in. So anyways, uh, yeah, right now I don't even have like 100 things. I think I got 90 things on there. I'm going to try to get everything posted this month and get back to where I'm selling my three, 400 cards every month. But uh, until eBay gets their stuff together, I was about to curse. Um, it's going to be a little lacking on there, but maybe we'll find some stuff in this that I'm going to open. So this is Legacy Football made by Panini. You get two autos in this. As you see, there's eight cards per pack, 16 packs per box. So do the math on that. It's more than 100 cards. You look for the Dare to Tear insert, which is uh, interesting to say the least. I, I mean, I always tear them. Find two Redemption Opti-Chrome mini cards in this product. Brand new, made by Panini, 2021. Legacy previously would have people like LaDainian Tomlinson vintage players in it, along with the new players. Now, me being a Bears fan, uh, I would like some Justin Fields. I did not get Justin Fields on my score football. H2 box that I opened. I don't know if I did that on video or not, or maybe I never even posted the video, but let's see what we get. Like I said, this is one of my favorite early year products always, every year is uh, Legacy Football. So we're going to make them all pretty there with Ladanian standing up. And let's open the first pack. These packs tear nice and easy, so I don't need to do the little snippy snip. Alrighty, let's see here. Legends, Champ Bailey. Legends, LaDainian Tomlinson. All right. Let me zoom in a little closer for you. Oop. There we go. We in focus. We're in focus, aren't we? Let's move over to the side so you can actually see this on full video here. James Robinson, Jaguars, Michael Thomas, Cortland Sutton. These are the base cards. Here's a rookie, Najee Harris. And I will uh, sleeve these after I'm all done. Terrence Marshall Jr., rookie. And... Greg Rousseau rookie. Now, if you notice, they're still in their college uniforms. Um, this product is made probably prior to the draft. So, uh, I don't know what the first one, I think Contenders is going to be your first one with them in their actual uh, pro uniforms. Legends, Troy Palomalu, Mike Vrabel, base card of Cole Beasley. Saquon Barkley. There you go. We got a cool shiny rookie of Jalen Darden. Jalen Darden of the Mean Green. I don't remember. I don't even know who Jalen Darden is. Somebody's going to be watching this and be like, Jalen Darden, he was the number one guy from North Texas or some shit. But uh, what position does Jalen Darden even play? A lightning quick, lightning quick playmaker who makes defenders look Something. Oh, wide receiver. All righty. Larry Fitzgerald, Timeless Talents. Rookie of Jamie Newman. And Pat Freermuth. I remember he was like the uh, 
top tight end in the draft, Pat Freermuth. All right. Javon Curse Legends, Dwight Freeney Legends, base card of Aaron Rodgers, base card of Nick Chubb. Here's one of our little mini cards of uh, Kyle Pitts. That's a pretty cool one, Kyle Pitts. Uh, as you know, is the big time tight end slash kind of wide receiver H-back guy. And I think he's going to be a stud in the NFL. But I even have these little tobacco card inserts or sleeves. So we can actually even sleeve him right now. And I love the way that these actually hold the little tobacco cards. Kyle Pitts. And it is numbered number 58 out of 100. 58 out of 100. I wonder if our other shiny one was... Uh, it was not. It was not numbered. We'll have to look and see if any of the other ones are numbered, but there's Kyle Pitts. I'll throw him in that sleeve right now since it's Kyle Pitts. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, flashback. Rookie Trevor Lawrence. And a rookie of uh, Hadarius Tony. I think he was a first round pick, right? Tony was a first round pick. Near the end, maybe? I don't know. I might be wrong. He might have been the eighth pick. I can't remember. The draft was a while ago last month and I've already kind of forgotten all the players typical though you got to kind of wait till preseason starts and then you'll see um, who kind of looks like they're gonna be the stud who doesn't you know some teams some guys don't even make it out of training camp some guys hold out some guys <coughs> do whatever all right legends Dan Marino Ken Anderson the old Bengals helmet AJ Brown base, Tom Brady base, Rashad Bateman, rookie, not numbered, Ladanian Tomlinson, decades of dominance, 2000s, uh, Carlos Basham Jr., rookie card, and Rashad Bateman again. See, now this is one thing I love about this product is, look, this is our base cards so far, and these are our keepers so far. So you get, you don't get a lot of base cards in this set, um, which for, again, for 200 bucks, I mean, pretty good deal. I don't know if I'll make my 200 bucks back by any means, but a lot of these will stay in the personal collection anyways. That was uh, Brian Dawkins, sorry, Terry Bradshaw, Khalil Mack, Joe Burrow. Darius Leonard. All right, we got Decade of Dominance, Jerry Rice, numbered six out of 25. Mika Parsons, rookie card. Kyle Trask, rookie card. Can't remember where Trask went. He could, I was hoping that the Bears would pick up Trask. Um, and then they took Fields, so not gonna be complaining that he didn't take Trask, because I think Fields is definitely the better player out of the two. But, uh oh, you'll probably hear that noise. My wife seems to be vacuuming upstairs. Even though I tell her I'm going to shoot a video, she seems to uh, decide to be noisy sometimes. So, hopefully, that's not going to be too noisy. Anyways, let's see here Marshall Falk, Donald Driver. We got a Robbie Anderson base. We got Jerry Judy base. We got Josh Allen base. What do we get here? Just a piece of cardboard for the ages Roger Staubach Cowboys I know a co-worker that loves Roger Staubach that's gonna go to her Kyle Pitts rookie card Marlon to Polo to Polo to I don't know who that guy is all right these are kind of the thicker ones you do, do get some thick cards as you saw though you get spacers in these too so um, 
I don't know how many cards were back though. A couple cards back already. A couple packs back. Steve Largent, Jordy Nelson, C.D. Lamb base, Matthew Stafford base, still in his Lions. So that tells you. Here we go. 19 out of 25. Hey, 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 hey. There's the big dog right there. Look at that. Travis Etienne, Trevor Lawrence, autos. Look at that. Numbered dual dual auto insert. Um, I need to find a sleeve right now. And I need to get this sleeved. I need a fat card sleeve. We're going to leave that guy right there. I need to find a... I don't want to mess this up at all. I need to find a fat card sleeve as soon as possible so I can get this guy sleeved up. Where's my fat card sleeves? I so rarely use the fat ones. I think these are the fats. Because I rarely buy product. But this is the monster pull. This is the one I've been hoping for. Something like that. Now, if the grading companies were open, maybe this one I'll just send her straight off to SGC, though. I would grade this one in a heartbeat. Uh, let me find a top loader for this. This is the monster bowl right out of this. Both first round draft picks, the number one pick. I can't remember what Etienne is. Just dual auto. Rookie card. Again, numbered 19 out of 25. Uh, missed his number, 19. He's number 9, so missed him too. But I don't care. I don't think anybody's going to give a crap. This is a. This is my... This is this right here. This card's worth a couple bucks for sure. And... Uh, I am very, very happy that I just pulled that. That one will be getting sent off. I might send that off to PSA and actually pay the 300 bucks to grade that guy. All right. Now all these, hey, you know, whatever I mean. Whatever I get now, I don't even care. They're all just, uh, they're all just cards now because I just pulled that stud card. I, I haven't pulled a stud card out of a pack out of a box in a while every time it's some you know offensive lineman or something so that's one of our autos i wonder if that counts as the two autos since there's two autos on that um uh, dante hall emmett smith dante hall really a legend i don't really i mean i guess he was a good player but i wouldn't really classify dante hall of the chiefs a legend didn't he return a lot of kicks though all right jason witten timeless Chuba Hubbard from, uh, didn't Chuba Hubbard? Yeah, he played at uh, Oklahoma State. And Jarrett Patterson. I am, I, I mean, that's as exciting as I get. As excited as I get pulling this card. But look at this card. I mean, this card is, this card's amazing. And they have awesome autos. I mean, they're stickers. Yeah, they're not the on card, but they're not also just like the little lame squiggle that sometimes players do. That's like full on, you know, sign in a check auto. Legends, that was Mark Brunel. This is Charles Woodson. Base card base card all right look at this under the lights caleb farley of the Hokies, numbered 46 out of 100 caleb farley i'll have to look up caleb farley i don't recall that name uh michael vick for the ages falcons uh Najee harris again and TJ Vasher. So we got the Kyle Pitts and we got the, the Trevor Lawrence. So we got the Kyle Pitts and we got the Trevor Lawrence. Let's 
So, I mean, hey, I can't be happier with this box. I bought this box the other day when I was leaving work, and uh, I'd been wanting to buy one, and unfortunately, I don't think I will be buying another box because I just pulled an amazing card out of it. So, I'll have to post it on Facebook. Uh, my boss likes me when we do that. Barry Sanders, I'm a Barry Sanders collector, so that's a cool decaded thing. What I get here? JV and Hawkins. Davis Mills. Davis Mills, he might be the starting quarterback in Houston, considering uh, you got a sex offender down there. That's I don't know how many women have accused him of uh, pulling out, you know, forcing himself on him with uh, what's his name in, in Houston there. Uh, I think he's up to 27 now. Let's see here. Joe Thomas, Warren Sapp, Ronald Jones, Travis Kelsey, Joe Mixon. We got the uh, Generations insert of uh, Tremaine Edmonds and Terrell Edmonds, the two brothers, Seth Williams, Patrick Jones the second. Kurt Warner, Tony Gonzalez, Patrick Mahomes, Devontae Parker, Darius Slayton. All right, we've got a, Dr a Dak Prescott orange border insert card. I don't know what you would call this. You never know what to call these inserts. Um, if you're like me, then you probably don't either. But here's a uh, numbered, what is it, 62 out of 199 Dak Prescott. We got Joseph Asai. We got Travis Etienne again. Again, we got his auto with him and his teammate for the Jaguars. So both first round picks, both autos numbered. Can't beat that. All right. Mike Dicka, Tiki Barber, base card, base card, who cares? you're one of the uh, 10 people that watch my videos and you ever want like base cards you can just ask Zach Wilson high first round pick right there Tyreek Hill flashback Ian Book and Nico Collins Lance Briggs. Is Lance Briggs really a legend? I mean, I'm a Bears fan, and I wouldn't really mark Lance Briggs as a legend. All right. We got Derrick Henry, Mike Evans. Those are our base cards. We got Timeless, Devontae Adams. We got uh, Christian Barmore, Rondell Moore. Who is our little mini card here? We got Clyde Edwards Hilaire. It is not numbered. We'll put it in a little tobacco insert also. Just because it, it really... I wish I had more of these tobacco inserts. You can get these from like uh, BCW Supplies. But right now I'm kind of beefing with BCW Supplies. You go onto my orders and it doesn't show my past orders. And it doesn't show open orders. But I have an order that's been processing since January three quarters of the order was supposed to already have shipped, but they don't ship when things are back ordered and they just keep on upping the back order. And so, you know, I, I paid them 250 bucks for a bunch of top supplies and you know, they keep on uh, just backing it up, backing it up. And now it's saying the big, the big one, that's like a mixed case of top loaders. It just says to be decided when originally it said like, uh, June, which it's now June. So it's like, will you just please ship me the other things in there that were available? All right, here's our other, uh, here's our other rookie. I mean, our other auto. So we did get two autos. Well, technically we got three, but here's our other auto. Sean Wade of Ohio State. Ooh, that's a fat one. Let's get a regular size. can't tell you I know who Sean Wade is. 
I, I wish I could tell you well, he's the whatever pick of the so and so and everything, but I don't. Wasn't he a wide receiver? No, tackle. I mean, he he's got tackles and stuff on there, isn't he? So Sean Wayne is sensational season instead of answering the defensive back. So he's a defensive back, huh? All right. So there's our other auto. See, that's what I usually end up pulling is things like that. Sean Wade or something like that. Quiddy Pay. Kellen Mond. Now, Kellen Mond, I know Kellen Mond. He got drafted by the Vikings, and I think he has the potential to be amazing, Kellen Mond. Um... I think he's your guy that you might... He, he's your Jalen Hurts, I think, that you might want to keep an eye on is Kellen Mond. <clears throat> uh, I mean, we all know that what's-his-name up in with the Vikings kind of sucks, but he's got that huge contract, so he's going to be playing. But I think Kellen Mond will be their starter here, not this season, but next season. Depending on how the Vikings go, he might end up playing at the end of the year. Old Drew Locke, still with the Broncos. Travis Kelsey, number seven out of 299. Travis Kelsey insert. That's the. I mean, I'm colorblind. I'm going to say that's red. But uh, you can type in the comments. A little bit of corner damage right there, but who cares? Um, I'm not one of those people that are going to go crazy over damage by any means. Sam Elinger of the Longhorns. I don't think he got drafted. Good player, but hey, there's Justin Fields. Last card of the thing, Justin Fields. I mean, again, I'm not complaining because I got a Trevor Lawrence auto with a Travis Etienne auto, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, but, hey, I did get a Justin Fields, so makes me happy. Hopefully he ends up good with the Bears. So, anyways, this is Legacy Football 2021 uh, made by Panini, of course, because Panini makes everything. Uh, Legacy Football. As you see, this is all our keepers, other than those stud cards that we pulled out. That's all our keepers. Here's your base cards. So, I mean, 200 bucks, you're getting that many keepers, you're getting this many base cards. Um, resell wise, who knows? I mean, I mean, resell wise, I could probably get, who knows how many, how much money for that, uh, uh, this card. I'm gonna send this off to PSA. Like I said, I might spend the 300 something bucks it takes to, to grade this guy. Um, this come this should it looks like it could come back a 10 the autos will definitely be uh, 10s i would send this usually to beckett now look stupid ass big cards can you see that that bottom corner's rounded pretty good uh that one's rounded pretty good all right so it's not going to come back a 10 it'll probably come back a 8 but anyway uh i mean that's why 10s are ridiculous impossible to get and uh, uh i mean i'm not going to complain so whatever um yeah that's why a 10 sometimes will go for a hundred thousand dollars or something like that is because on these especially on these thick cards it's almost impossible as you saw that was packed fresh i didn't do anything to it i didn't drop it i didn't do anything to it and it's got a rounded corner and a rounded corner it looks great from the front though so anyways i appeal i'd say it's perfect it'll have an eight and a ten something like that um, I might do SGC with this just because it's silver and then with black and the black will look awesome. So anyways, uh, please like subscribe, all that fun stuff as usual. Sullivan cards collectibles is my, uh, eBay store, uh, like, and share, do all that fun stuff. And anyways, if you're looking for new football product to run out and buy, you know, there's still, uh, how many of these left? There's still 24 of these out there. So you might get one also. If not, though, let's look at the kind of the, the little thing. Like I said, we got Kyle Pitts. Can't beat that. And I have to look up who Sean Wade, Wade is. I don't know. He might be like a fifth-round draft pick or something, right? But we'll look up Sean Wade. Who knows? He could have been the 22nd pick in the first round. I really don't. Name like that in a defensive back don't really pay you that much attention. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Uh, anyways... I will start making um, some more outdoor exploring type videos. I got some videos actually even on my phone. Went to a went to a, a 
a, a car museum and things like that. Now that COVID's basically uh, not scary anymore, I'm out exploring. So anyways, thanks.